Hello, everyone. <laughs> you all know what it's like to have a cat around, how they just... <laughs> um, well, so Hamilton and I are going to show you something about a setup. Gosh, I hardly can even think about what I'm, what I'm going to be saying because <clears throat> anyway, so <laughs> bear with me, folks. I found this video on, I think it was TikTok. It's Tyler Henry, the Hollywood medium. <clears throat> and it's, I think a minute long. I'd like to show it to you. It's really cute. And it's meant to be one of those things. that's like just adorable. But what it actually shows is something that I have. I have a really hard time getting through to people. The cat wants me to um, uh, getting through to people is understanding that what you're watching on these edited TV shows is edited TV, and what you see, the magic, the magic, the magic you see is carefully edited to make the medium look the best possible because these aren't tests these are not uh tv shows set up by uh skeptics or you know like gotcha kind of reporting these are tv shows set up with the goal of making them look so good that they get another show and that they get another show and so on so keep your tail down so what they're trying to do is um, if you think that somebody is walking into on the set and just sitting down and doing their thing or walking up to a stranger on the street and saying, hey, I want to tell you about your dead family member or you're getting your hair done. You see the psychic getting their hair done in a beauty salon and they turn to the person in the chair next to him and say, hey, I want to tell you about your mother, you know none of that is is real it's not impromptu like you see on tv number one you have to have releases signed so if you have releases signed then there's some prior agreement in other words there's been conversations with the person ahead of time and it's very likely they know what they're going to say what it is that's going to transpire and so on it's not impromptu but when you see these TV shows, now, I don't know if it's just because it's our generation <clears throat> that we were raised in this, uh, we're being raised in this world where everything, um, we just forget. We just, we forget that there's other people in the room. We forget that, that a lot of this stuff is scripted. We forget um, that, that there's more happening behind the scenes. We just suspend our belief so that we can just watch and, and enjoy the program. Okay, that's fine. But remember that when you're looking at shows for mediumship, there's there's tons of footage that's being captured, but it's being edited. The magician is the editor. That's what Mark Edward always says, is the real magician is the person who's doing the editing in the back room. They're editing it close. They're editing these clips so that they look, the medium looks amazing and hit after hit after hit. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you. So Mark Edward and I, Mark Edward is my boyfriend, longtime boyfriend. Everybody probably knows he lives here with me, but we've done a bunch of different TV shows over the years. And I've went back and I've tried to find some photographs of the setup, things I've been on the shoot with him. And there's, there's, I think I pulled out four or five different TV shows, including one that was just shot in my house, this house, this room, well, not this room, but another room in my house Monday, which was not even a week ago. And it reminded me of how much goes on behind the scenes that you, the viewing public may not realize is going on. So when you have, and I'm using Tyler Henry as the main example in this, so when Tyler Henry goes up to the door, knock, 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 Hollywood medium here, you know, he op they open the door and they go, surprise, it's some TV celebrity that Tyler pretends he's never heard of before. 
and they introduce themselves and they say they're a big fan of Tyler Henry and how excited they are here. And then Tyler Henry says, oh, hugs them and thanks them. And he's like, I don't know who they are. And then you see them walk over to a couch or a chair or someplace, beautiful homes. And they sit down and immediately the reading starts. Okay, well, the typical viewer, and <clears throat> I know I get this comment all the time, thinks that's happening in that order. But you don't you don't notice that Tyler has somebody walking up the curb. There's somebody filming him walk to the door. So there's a there's a film person there. There's people inside the house that have got film cameras and, and lighting and sound. And then as he's walking into the door, he's being filmed walking in the door. So when they go to sit down on this couch, from the time that he hits the door, knock, 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 I'm here to give you a reading, to the time that the reading starts, that could be hours. It could be at least an hour before they sit down and start filming. And that's saying that there's camera crews there early getting it all set up. And then that when Tyler shows up, they just have to handle the lighting for him and get him mic'd up and get him comfortable and make sure his makeup is right and his hair is right and his clothes are right. I mean, it could be an hour or more. And the reason why I'm really stressing this especially with Tyler Henry is, is because there is plenty of time for Tyler to excuse himself. He's just met the person. Their name is whatever it is, Joe, Joe Smith, Smithson. I don't know. And you're in his home most of the time. You can look around at the, at the photos on the walls, the, the artwork, the magazines, the whatever is in the house to get a sense of who the person is. Do they have children? Do they have pets? Do they have, are they, do they work in film? Do they work in, um, um, you know, on the stage musicals? What do you get a good feel of them? So even if Tyler had never heard of this person before and didn't know, let's just say, <clears throat> suspend your belief for a moment that Tyler doesn't know who's actually, who's home he's going to. And he gets in there and he doesn't know who the person is. I don't know how most of these people he says, I need to take this call. I need to go to the bathroom or whatever. He just takes this phone, this little device right here. This thing is amazing. These, these phones, they're, they're called smartphones for a reason. Because with a couple um, minutes on the phone, you can find most anything about anybody famous. Most of them have Wikipedia pages. Most of them have IMDb profiles. Um, or you can just Google them and you can you can go to um, there's probably gossip sites or you go to different places where you can get information. But most of these famous people that you see on the Tyler Henry show have been around for years. Boy, George. Oh, my gosh. Margaret Cho, Nancy Grace, um, Alan Thicke. I mean, on and on and on. These are people who've been around for years. Matt Lauer. Oh, my goodness. Um, and they have a long history. So so the information you can glean off of this person is pretty darn easy to get. And when you really look at the substance of what is happening, what is being recorded, the interview, the sitting he's doing, it's not a lot of substance. <clears throat> it's not the detail of like, what's your last four last digits of your social security number? No, it's like, you know, who in your family has died? What were the big tragedies? The big the big events that happen in the person's life is what Tyler Henry gets, which is just so just seconds to Google. Um, and it's not Tyler Henry is very good at this way of appearing to be um, really repeating something back to you. And what he does, and he, watch the show, you know, you don't have to just take my word for it. He does this long pause. And a lot of other psychics are just really rapid speakers and they're just trying to get too much content out there. You know, he's more like, yeah, you know, I'm getting this older figure, a father, I think, or he felt like a father to you. 
And the sitter feels that long pause, that pause, it's awkward. And they also feel this desire to, to interject, to give some information because they would like to have a reading, right? And they say, you know, that's probably my grandfather. We were very close. He died when I was a little boy, but I really didn't have a lot of time to say goodbye to him. And Tyler says, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, yeah, that's, that's what I think is happening, right? So it, it feels like if you're not really paying attention really well, it kind of feels like you're, you could say later, Tyler Henry got so-and-so's grandfather, but actually he didn't. He just set an older father figure and the sitter filled in that information. <clears throat> this is wordplay. So um, other things that he does is he, he waits until, until there's like, he'll throw something out there scribbling in the paper. Um, he'll throw something out that just feels like it could be really specific, but actually it's not that specific. Things like, I think one of the ones he did was there was a bird in the house and people were running around trying to get it out and everybody was laughing. That's, that might feel very real and very specific. And how could he possibly know that? Well, if you go to YouTube and you type in the little box, the search box, bird in the house, you know, or something like that, you will see hundreds of videos. <clears throat> and there are people who've had a bird fly in the house while they were having dinner or they were having a piano recital or whatever. A bird flies in and everybody's like, ah, and they chase the bird out and everybody's laughing. It's a typical thing. And I think that we've probably... <laughs> and had had this happening since we've had birds and we've had homes we just haven't always had a, a way of filming it it's very common and if it didn't happen to you and tyler henry says it to you then it happened to your family before you were around and and your loved one is telling me about it right now or it happened when you're really young and you don't remember it ask your family or um he just goes and moves on to something else and it's cut out of the whole video because they're filming for the sitting is an hour, hour and a half. And it's cut down to six, seven minutes. So, I mean, where's the rest of it? I mean, what, where's the rest of this amazing uh, reading that he's having? Keeping in mind, they're trying to make him look amazing because they want to continue having a job and continue having their uh, TV show. So enough for that for right now. Well, I'm going to show you this clip. And when I show you this clip, I want you to pay attention, not to so much about the how cute it is, which it is cute. I don't know who these actors are, but I want you to pay attention to what's going on around them. How much you see the prep going in on the shot that looks like when you see the show, he walks in the door, sits down and starts a reading. But look at everything that's going on around you and all the people that are in that room. So let me show you this, like a minute, minute and a half, something like that. I had so much coming through on the way here today. I'm you excited did? to cool. see kind of like where it fits. <laughs> oh, wonderful. David, offer him a pastry too. What? There's pastries back there too. Do you want a Danish? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's so cute. I've got My wife got you Danish. Oh, so sweet. I'm okay for now, but thank you guys again for having me. Thank you. We're so excited that you're here. Okay. So do you see that? I mean, it's adorable. It's very cute. Did you notice how many camera angles were on that people? They've got on the wife, on Tyler, on the sitter from the side, the sitter, you know, there's multiple cameras in there. And, you know, it takes a while to choose where they're going to be shooting this video, not video, but, you know, the recording. So they put them at the kitchen table and everything has to be just so. So as you see, they're doing the hair, they're getting everything ready. He didn't just walk in and sit down and the camera just boom, and they're right into the reading. No, there's an there's time, lots and lots of time that Tyler can get up. He wanders around. They haven't got the lighting quite right. They're checking out the, you know, the sound, 
all these different things. And he, he just needs two or three minutes to excuse himself. He knows who they are. He already knows who they are. And he walks into the bathroom, someplace private. I don't think, I don't think the show's in on it. They probably are just like, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> I, I have no idea how he's doing that. I'm not going to look to the side. No, uh-uh. That's, that's what I think is going on. It's a TV show. And they, they think that there's no harm in it. But, you know, I know darn well that there's a lot of harm in it. So let me show you some photos because it's kind of fun. And like I said, I only put together just a few of these because I I just, I mean, I can't keep you looking at pictures all day long. But um, so over the years, as I said, I've had quite a few um, events with Mark Edward. We've gone to different TV sh shoots and done things. And this is what it looks like from behind the scenes. Now, every show is different and every event is different, but there's many people in that room and there are many objects happening, you know, things ha around. So it takes a while to get this stuff set up. And um, anyway, I just want to let you have a feel for it. And I'll give you just a taste of what some of this looks like. <clears throat> So this right here is, I think this is when we're recording Adam Ruins Everything. It was a Hollywood, uh, a Hollywood, Halloween uh, event. And I was sitting in here, one of these chairs, while Mark was in another room filming with Adam Ruins Everything. It was the Jersey, the Jersey Shore Medium or something. It was supposed to be a takeoff on Teresa Caputo. And you can see, look at all the electronics that are here. Um, and yeah, see here, you can see people just lounging around in chairs. They rented a house and then they shot all these different Halloween uh, events here. Now this stuff, this camera stuff was there for hours and days. I mean, they were filming at this location for days and they were doing different segments. And so they should have been all ready to go, but no, they weren't. Mark and I went and we were in, um, another room of the house for probably two hours, just hanging out while they were getting things ready and then they brought mark down and and then you know you've got to adjust everything so there's a lot of downtime that was um adam rain's everything show you can find that on youtube or wherever <clears throat> this we did during the pandemic this is the first thing we did oh my gosh this is kind of scary because this is almost the first time we left our house and he was filming for abc and the show was called the con and we had to drive a couple hours away we hadn't been vaccinated or anything yet and like i said it was very frightening you guys remember the pandemic hey did you notice that nobody no psychic ever anywhere predicted covid19 or the or this this thing that was going to kill tens of millions of people infect lives destroy economies destroy businesses and so on lock down full countries nobody predicted that just just reminding you but anyway this is called the con this is the first thing we did everything was super careful as far as the uh, uh, masks right before the uh, uh, mark did his shot everybody had to disappear um, into the back and then he could take his mask off it was really interesting and this is um the remoting in the the producer and they ask questions here of uh, mark from there and see here mark's able to take off his his um, mask finally and do the shoot and everybody's safely in the back. But again, this is something we went to and then we're sitting around uh, waiting for things to get right and things to be done and, and whatever. Also the camera crew has to take breaks. They have to take their scheduled breaks their scheduled lunches. And so, you know, you set up everything and then you show up it could be break time for them. And so there's, there's downtime there. There's lots of stuff going on. Well, here's a video. I thought this is kind of fun. It doesn't, you don't need any sound on this. It just Mark walking. Um, they wanted to show him walking and sitting down and he had to do this multiple times. And this is what's going on in these shows that you see, it looks so casual and like it's been done so easily, but this stuff takes, can take hours. And again, there's people all over the place. Here's a shoot we did in Los Angeles. This is for Weird or What. We did two Weird or Whats, which was the, it was voiced over by William Shatner. This is for the school seance. This, we were at this for the entire day. I think we probably were here for a good eight hours. And 
Um, you can see that the crew is all geared up and everything and, and just trying to get the lighting just right. Lots of back background stuff going on. <clears throat> this is at my house Monday. This is our living room. And you can see we have a crew of two people here setting it all up. And it they showed up and got all the camera crew ready. And then they're ready. They're ready to film. Okay, well then bring in Mark. He sits down. And then it's another 30 minutes, 45 minutes trying to get everything just so. Here's my cat watching. Uh, here's here's a bunch of cameras. This is where the uh, producer is going to appear so that she can prompt him and look like she's interviewing him. More stuff. Here he is. And all of this. Now look at all this stuff in the background here. Everything has to be just so. And then all they're going to show is this little bit on the TV show. <laughs> so for so for this all this work to get this thing just right and the lighting just right and my dining room has special lights they put in there to make it look like you know it's this long hallway and all along they're just trying to get this shot right here that shows a corner of a wall a corner of a wall and then my hallway back here it's, i thought it was quite fascinating how much work goes on <clears throat> behind the scenes to get these things to to look right so i hope you found that interesting I hope it makes you think about it. Think think more about when you see a TV show, especially in this case, I'm talking about these TV shows like um, Seatbelt Psychic and Hollywood Medium and Teresa Caputo's The Long Island you know, Medium and all those different things that they do, that there is a lot more happening than you realize that's going on. just had a thought let me let me show you seatbelt psychics camera angles and two since I'm, I'm already talking about it and i have the pictures pretty pretty easy to get a hold of so what i'm going to show you this is from the thomas john experience which was seatbelt psychic season two kind of like except they called it the thomas john uh, experience it's the same thing everything else was the same they just didn't use the name seatbelt psychic because it was on a different network but everything's the same and what they did in this season um, is they actually showed a little behind the scenes, what was happening behind the scenes. And they showed the cameras that are in the car. This is like, you could go look at the show and you will see them show the cameras in the car, which is really strange that they would do that because that gives it away right away that it's not a, that the people who are there no, it's a TV show because these aren't little pinhole spy cameras that are little itsy bitsy tiny things like this. These are cameras, you know, big professional cameras. So let me show you what these look like. And first off, I'm going to show you. This is at least nine camera angles that I've counted. And I'll show you, I'll show you a little bit um, um, in a different angle in just a second. So here you could see this is one person getting in the car. So here's a camera on the top of the screen. Now this is taken from the show. So, I mean, I'm not making these things up. These are things I took in the, sh that are there from the show. And so you can see that um, these are cameras from the side. Now, where are these cameras? They must be mounted on the top of the camera. They must be mounted on the side of the, I mean, camera, the side of the car. Here she is getting out of the car. Here, here is a camera that's looking and looking right at Thomas John as he's in the driver's seat. Here is, for example, a camera that is, she's going to sit down and the camera sees her getting into the camera. So these are not little cameras, um, like I said, and they're just one or two. But look, here's one of the cameras mounted on there. And you can see the bracket for another one back over here. And then look at the, look what's on the dashboard. There's a camera here. There's a camera here. There's no way that that somebody could get into that car and not understand they're on a, they're on a TV show. Yet, almost every day, somebody has to leave a comment on my on my YouTube channel saying, "Well, how do you know that they <laughs> they didn't know?" No, maybe it's an Uber. No, no, I'm not getting in an Uber. It looks like this. And then this is um this is from Seatbelt Psychic, and you can see 
here's the show. Um, they're they're watching the woman get into the car. This camera is obviously looking at her getting into the car, and this camera is obviously taken so from a different vantage point. And this one looks like it's taken from the side, you know, from inside the the car. This is kind of the same as this one. And so it's just obvious that these are not, um, these are, these are manipulated videos. So all of them, all these TV shows like this are manipulated videos, but you just don't think about it because we're just not conditioned to do that. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it is a little um, like I'm repeating myself because I've, on various videos I've done, I've talked about these elements. I haven't shown all the pictures, but I feel like the people who are finding my videos, they're, they're, well, they're watching some of the more popular videos, the ones that are getting 80 or 90,000 views, but they don't go through and watch the ones that are, and then they have to make a comment. And one yesterday just said, oh, like you're trying to prove, disprove him all in one video. And you're only finding me the bad stuff about him. Well, <laughs> I've got tons of videos. You just got to watch them, right? You just can't just watch one and understand everything. This is complicated. This is a, this is not something that is just it's so cut and dry. There's a lot going on, especially when you're talking about the TV shows. But anyway, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. We lost my cat. Sorry, Hamilton's gone. Uh, please like, please share, please leave comments. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys super, super much.